ever wanted to learn how to scale your website to handle 10 bajillion users? In these upcoming series I am going to teach you that. To understand what the frick I am going to talk about you need some basic knowledge of concepts like DNS, IP addresses, servers, databases, etc. Take this video as a high level overview of the topics I am going to delve into one by one, in the subsequent videos. Before we start remember one thing, in system design everything is a trade off. An optimization in one part of the system introduces issues in other parts which you might want to further optimize introducing other issues, so being aware of the issues your solution introduces, will make it easier to optimize it further, let's start by understanding what scaling means, it can be defined as the system's ability to perform as the load increases, now, suppose you have a web application hosted on a server, the single machine does everything, it runs back end, hosts front end, hosts static files, runs a database, does dishes, cleans your house and feeds your cat. So here is the diagram of what happens when a user connects. User types in the domain name. Request goes to the DNS server, which returns the IP address of your server, then user's computer connects to that server using the IP address. Basic stuff. Imagine one day the application gets more users and you notice that it is struggling a little bit, people start to complain about the website loading times and sometimes it doesn't even load. You see that the CPU load is through the roof and you can use it to cook a juicy 8 ounces top sirloin medallion steak to medium rare doneness in under 30 seconds, so you decide to swap it with latest and greatest processor. Congratulations, you just did something called vertical scaling. It's when you add more resources to a single computer, be that CPU, GPU, memory, disk etc. But hey ho, you get even more users and you are looking to spend over 10 gazillion dollars on a liquid nitrogen cooled 200 core processor. That's one of the limitations of vertical scaling, it gets expensive really fast. There are others. Like you can't vertically scale infinitely, after some point you won't find a resource suitable to handle the loads, what if your server dies, etc. Now what do you do? One of the simplest ways to tackle this problem is to clone our original weakling, pathetic and absolute disgrace of the main server. Then you redirect half of the users to one clone, and the other half to another. This didn't solve the issue, no problem. Do that like a 100 times. Now what you did is called a horizontal scaling. It's when you add more things, in this case servers to increase the overall performance of the system. And this is one of basic principles. If it doesn't work, throw more servers on it until it does. Remember when I said every solution introduces new problems? Now a question is, which server should your DNS redirect to? as it only binds to a single IP address, to solve this you need to use DNS round robin, just kidding, DNS round robin is a do do, do not even touch that with a 10 feet pole, but for informational purposes here's what it does, depending on DNS, you can ask it to redirect it to different IP addresses every time someone connects, in a round robin fashion, why is it bad? It has something to do with DNS caching, when the first time a DNS request is made, some DNSS on the path or even users computers, may store the IP address of one of the servers, resulting in horrible distribution of load, overloading one of the servers and leaving others idle. Another problem relates to its round robin nature, users connecting to server A, might be power users, that really need to touch grass, but instead they decide to spend their whole day on your meme hosting platform, now, what if you created a separate server that does the rerouting instead, picking the least loaded clone and sending user requests to it, this separate server is called a load balancer, but you only got one of those, what if it breaks? Just throw in more load balancers, there are a lot of features that load balancers bring, there are other options for routing the traffic to your application servers, and each of those options have intricacies and strategies. Ok, we have now fixed the overloading issue, but we have introduced one more, 
Can you find it? I am giving you 0.5 seconds to find it. That's still twice as long as clicking that subscribe button, so click on it while you are thinking. Time's up. The issues is with data storage. If you store any user data on clones, user reconnecting to the website might be connected to a different server and lose access to their data. By user data I mean databases, session data, static files, etc. The solution is, as always, create one or more new servers to store those. And there we go, we got a simple scalable solution that can handle a metric crap ton users per second. But you see, creating a whole bunch of servers and connecting those together can be done in many different ways. There are patterns of organizing those, called architectures. Instead of cloning your application servers, you could split your application in pieces and assign a separate server or multiple servers to handle a piece, and you would get something called service-oriented architecture, break those pieces down even more to basic functions and you get microservice architecture. If you make those servers talk with each other via events, that would be an event-driven architecture. You want to store your state using the events and you get event sourcing. Now before you go off building your cloud-based microservice architecture using event-driven CQRS for a calculator app, listen to this. It is said that to create scalable solution you need to plan scaling from the beginning. But I would say that highly depends on the case. I think vertical scaling coupled with regular data backups is a good enough solution for small applications especially if it's on the cloud and you don't have to add the resources manually. Do not overcomplicate things if you are just trying to ship your side projects. So there you have it. A quick tour of scaling your tech from a one-server solution to a some would say over-engineered one. Remember, like baking a complicated cake or assembling IKEA furniture, there's more than one way to do things in the world of system design. Whether you go vertical, horizontal or in zigzag pattern, it's all about making smart choices that fit your needs, not just blindly following the popular architecture, cough cough microservices. Stay tuned for more deep dives into each topic. Hit that like button if you learned something new, subscribe for more tech shenanigans, and drop a comment below if you've ever tried to cook a steak on your overheating server. Until next time.